So we're gonna take a walk through of my new Bass Cat Cougar FTD. See this sucker is all rigged and ready to go. Really excited about this. Um, we'll start up front. Big fan of this new piece they've added, this parking brake. They didn't have that before, so no more wheel chocks needed. You got your step on there, your grab handle so you can get up there nice and easy. Um, we got our Lowrance Ghost, our active target. Got our transducer cables all run up through here. Let's see up front with us. We have the Bass Pro Technology that run on a dual mount. These are the um, Warrior Gimbal mounts. They're super strong. You're not gonna bend those and break them up. Um, we got the Hydro Wave from TH Marine, a must have. Call this fish in real close to you. Um, we got our Lowrance Ghost trolling motor. Had one on the last three boats and I had one on my little electric boat at home too. So I really think highly of them. Um, we'll get in the boat here in a minute. Let's take a walk around the outside. You can see we got our trailer cover um, for the tire. High quality trailer. See these colors are pretty slick that we picked out for this boat. Um, I have the upgraded 18 inch wheels. This boat is actually uh, pre-sold, so the buyer gave me a uh, deposit, got to pick all of his colors out. So this one will have a new home as soon as I get um, done with my tournament season next year, if you're interested in doing something in the future. Don't hesitate to reach out and ask. Continuing around, you can see you got the nice blue seats. Here's that new reflex floor matting, so no more wet carpet. Um, zoom in real close. You can see it's kind of this like harder rubber material that's um, not skid. You won't have to worry about tripping or anything like that in it. Uh, more Bass Boat Technologies mounts here. That's another dual. I'm going to be running four Lowrance HDS 12 lives on it. Got our power pull switch over there. I got to still install the ones up front, the two uh, flip switches. We'll get them all put on. Keep coming around. There's our point one antenna from Lowrance. That's what keeps you from spinning in circles while you're uh, looking at your graph. It gives you a better directional aim. Then we got our power poles here, our Mercury Pro XS. Can't go anywhere without that. Our TH Marine Atlas jack plate. Um, it's hydraulic, so you get to get up super quick in real shallow, skinny water. Dual power poles on there. They're the blades are eight footers that I run on mine. Continue down, you can see colors on this guy. What I want to do next is we'll hop up in the boat and take a look at some of the uh, new features this year. So in the center console, instead of having the um, I have carpeted seat there, you know, it kind of had a little uh, just deck here. You can now have a little step here. You can see it latches, opens up in there keep your stuff nice and dry. It's got a little bit of padding in there so it doesn't just bounce around like crazy. There's solid latches that Fast Cat uses. Flip that up. You got one of your two coolers. Um, I like to keep stuff that I'm eating a lot in there, just like day-to-day -day stuff. Um, when I store extra water, I'll throw them in the cooler up here. Same thing, nice latch. Get in there. Got some Paperwork and bass cap decals. Let's see, if you haven't seen these live wells before, they're super deep. Um, it's the same setup as last year, but you can see they got really good aeration system. Uh, didn't lose any fish last year because of it. It was really high quality. What's cool about them too is you can see the matting. They put their bass cap logos in there. Really, pretty cool, slick looking. Flip them down. You got storage behind the seats. You got one of those on each side. Over there, you got one for your co-angler, for your buddy you take out fishing. Head to the back. I like this um, setup because you can see when you flip it open, that uh, actually flop all the way down. 
then you don't have to worry about trying to squeeze in there any tighter than um, the back of bass boots already are. You see we got our Relions. I run three that are 100 RBs. They're for the trolling motors. And then over here we got our RB100 HP. That's our cranking and um, electronics graphs. Uh, back in there if you can see it. We got a powerful charge. That's really great. Keeps your batteries all running. Um, pushes power to them as you're going. That way you don't have to worry about your crank battery ever dying. And there's a cool app that you can use with it. That really lets you get it all dialed in. See the Bass Cat comes with two fuel tanks. One on the left, one on the right. I believe they're, I want to say 26 gallons each. Work our way forward. See again, here's the cockpit from inside. We got our Mercury Smart craft right there so you can see how much fuel you burn. Um, we got our Atlas Jack plate, so that way you know how high you're running. Uh, fuel over there, water pressure. You got a full uh, lineup of all your different ones there. You got power right here. We got our teeth green hot hook. Must have in all boots as far as I'm concerned. You don't really have to worry about um, having anything happen to you while you're on the water. If your kill switch for some reason doesn't turn off, you can get off the gas that way. Um, this is a new for this year. This is the uh, drain plug. I got that put in. Just if you're on the water, you don't want to have to worry about accidentally forgetting it. If you do, say you're filling up with a little bit of water, you just put that back in and then you hit your bilge pump. You know, pump all your water out so you're not having issues there. We can see for the co-anglers, we got a spot for five rods where it sits real nice in there. Then you can also, I've had guys stuff them up here. You get probably 10 of them there. It's, it's crazy what some guys bring, but it's up to them. And here you can see we got our rod organizer. Let's see, there you go in that way as well. So you can fit a bunch of rods in here. A lot of times I'll actually take that out and um, you can fit more rods in there. It's, just, it's a personal preference. We got our middle console here. This one, you can see you can put some different boxes here. I really like this. This is again, one of those rubber that reflex stuff that it's gonna dampen some of the bouncing in there. Um, so when you got all your boxes lined up, stacked in there, they're not gonna slide around nearly as much. Last year they just had some, kind of like a rubber matting that was just thrown in there and laid on the bottom. Now you're not gonna have to worry about any of that. This stuff's gonna be stuck right to the bottom and not move on you, so that's pretty cool. Let's go on to the next box. This is just your day box. Same thing, they put that new part in there. You store all your goodies. Here's the other box up front. So you can stick more of your containers in there. This one I like to actually put terminal tackle in. Um, then up front, I'll a lot of times stick my uh, rain gear. Just kind of store it up there, kind of tucks away nicely. Let's see on the side. This is where I would put my spare props, some tools. Um, push pull, extra life jackets, that sort of thing. We'll go up front one more time. Get a look up here. Let's see, we got our Lowrance Ghost, uh, Bass Boat Technologies, the dual mount system they got. I like this troll motor here. You can see they, it's on the uh, Set back some of the bass cats you can set part of the forward if you want to be really up far up front, but that's totally up to you. Got the puck for the anchor mood in the Lowrance Ghost. That's the active target transducer along with the TH Marine Hydrowave. That's the speaker itself. And then the 2D and down scan are built right into the head unit. You can see right up there. Uh, you have your prop. 
And I got some goodies I'm gonna be adding on to here. We got a TH Eliminator prop nut. We're gonna install, um, what else? We got a locker bar, a couple other goodies from TH Marine. So make sure you uh, stay tuned for the second video. I'm gonna show you a couple things that I do to kind of adjust the boat and really get it set up exactly how I like it for the year. But you can see, great new Bass Cat Cooper, FTV.